In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your project to work with SRS and how to add SRS to your scene. All I've done so far is create a new third-person project and as add SRS from my vault to this project. To begin, head to the project settings up here and search for custom depth. You will find the setting custom depth stencil pass and you will want to set this to enabled with stencil. Once you've done this, you're ready to use SRS. To add SRS to your scene, all you have to do is head to the stylized rendering system folder, open blueprints and drag the actor BP stylized rendering system into your scene. Now SRS is working. To show this, I'm going to drag a sphere into the scene and I'm going to enable custom depth, as by default SRS only cell shades objects that have custom depth enabled. You can enable custom depth by clicking on the object, going to the details panel and searching for custom and then under the rendering tab you'll find the setting render custom depth pass. You'll have to enable this. Now you, you will see our object is already cell shaded and however there's still one problem. The material that is used by default on this sphere, the basic shape material, is not configured to work with SRS and for this material it's not a problem, but with other materials it might, might cause some artifacts. To fix this, all we have to do is use a material that is configured to work with SRS. I'm going to use a demo material, which you can find in the demo folder of the SRS folder, under materials. As you can see, we have a bunch of different materials that are all cell shaded. If you want to create transparent materials, you don't have to enable custom depth. All you have to do is add a transparent demo material for now, which you can find under Stellar Generating System Demo Materials Translucent. Another thing you can do to improve your cell shading style is sharpen these shadows. For this you have to go to your light source or your directional light or your sunlight, however it's called and search for sharpen. There you'll find shadow filter sharpen and if you set this to 1 your shadow will be sharp. In the next part you're going to learn how to create your own material instances that work with SRS as well as how to create your own materials and how to convert materials you already made to work with SRS.